take a look at footer scope. You will see that it contains a class container fluid. If you have read the previous lesson, you know that using container fluid will stretch the content to full available width. In some cases it's desirable, but in our current project it doesn't look very well. Let's change container fluid to container. Now it looks better. We'll do the same with navbar links. In this case we need to add a new container and place all the navbars element inside it. Cut it out, create a container and paste it again. Alright, much better. Now it's time to have a little fun with colors. Our navbar is indigo and looks pretty nice. Our footer is blue and looks good as well. But they don't create a consistent composition together. Let's fix it. Go to the colors documentation. You will find it more than 300 defined color classes which can be used in our project just by adding a color name to our document. We are going to use indigo color. Remove all blue class from the footer and add indigo class. You can use any color you like and add it to any MDB element. Manipulating colors with MDB is incredibly easy and fast. Apart from footer, We'll change also the colors of the buttons. Replace the class button primary with the class button indigo within each button of our project. Now our design is much more consistent. Now we will fix the layout. And to do it, we will use a bootstrap spacing utilities. They are incredibly useful helpers. Go to utilities and spacing. Let me present to you how does it exactly work. Let's add a margin top to the image. We just need to add a class MT5 and it's done. Here you can see our top margin. If we change it to MB5, we'll add margin bottom. And if we change it to margin Y5, we'll add margin top and bottom. If we leave only M, we'll add margin top, bottom, right and left. If we change it to margin X, we'll add margin right and left. And the same story with the padding. If we add a class PT5, we will add padding top. And if we change the value from 5 to 1, we'll add much smaller padding. We can use the values from 1 to 5 to manipulate the padding and margin size. I think you get the point. Now add a class margin top 5 to the main element. And then add a class margin bottom 4 to both columns of the first row. You may ask why do we add margin bottom 4 class to both columns when it seems to work fine even if we add it only to the first one? The answer is to take care about responsiveness. On the small screens, when two columns jump one under another, we need additional margin. Take a look how it looks on the resolution smaller than 768 pixels with and without MB4 in both columns.
Let's do the same with the columns within the second row. Add margin bottom to each of them. Now our website looks good both on desktop and mobile. One last thing. Let's take a look how it looks on tablet. You may wonder why columns of the second row display differently. The first one full width and the second and third 50% width. Take a look at our code. Have you noticed that strange grid construction call LG4 and call MD12 and call LG4 with call MD6? Actually, it's a very simple concept. We want the first column to have a length of 4 units on the large screens and 12 on smaller screens. We also want the next two columns display in 4 units on large screens and 6 units on smaller screens. If you want to learn more about the responsive breakpoints of Bootstrap Grid System, take a look at our layout documentation. Congratulations! You have finished the first MDB tutorial. Now, when you know the basics of MDB, you can improve the website on your own. Change the text, images and links. Use our documentation to add new components. Change the screen size and see how nice your website looks on mobile. Now everything depends on you. In the next tutorials, you will learn more advanced techniques which let you create really stunning projects. Thanks you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.